Hey guys, I'm Owen Fall 01 and today I'm going to be showing you how to protect your C Sharp and Visual Basic and many other programming language programs from code stealers. Okay, now here's a uh, .NET pro uh, protect project that my friend Unicorn made and I'm going to be demonstrating you how to use it and where to download it. The download link will, uh, will be in the description box so you don't have to worry about that for now. Okay. Uh, First of all, let's go to reverse engineering.net reflector. I'm going to be decompiling one of my forms, one of my earliest forms that I have been protected. I'll try to. Many of you may already know that this .NET reflector works very efficiently. However, the .NET protect project of Unicorn, it just doesn't allow it. Ah, here it is as you can see now everything will be visible over here and source stealers will probably be looking for some reverse engineering to claim the program as theirs okay we're gonna be changing that now just watch now when you download the file it will have a readme this and start with graphic user interface and start without graphic user interface okay now uh, for total newbies uh, I think a person who's trying to protect a C-sharp or program must know what GUI means so let's just skip that browse calculator then debug Okay, done. Great. Now let's just add a decompile. Close assembly. File. Open assembly. Calculator. See, it's giving an error now. It says involved number of data directories is in empty header. So now it will be a bit hard for normal newbie source stealers who just uh, don't know how to write a good program and just come and decompile and just take your code okay so if you like to uh, oh yeah and everything in the software I haven't made the software all credits to unicorn and I've only showed you how to protect your program through and how to use his software I'll be putting the download link in the description comment like and subscribe and you can message me if you want a custom video for whatever issues you're facing uh, and I'll be uploading some C sharp tutorials soon as well so thanks again for watching and have a nice day